Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is baking soda. Is baking soda toxic? How much baking soda is acceptable to consume? Now, I have several videos on baking soda on my YouTube channel. And I know that one of them is a little contradictory because I always claim the health benefits of baking soda. And I encourage or I actually consume baking soda, not on a regular basis, but I rotate it in as part of uh, my regime. So I have a rotational where I'll do it, you know, like for seven straight days, but I only do it like once a month for seven straight days. They say that you can safely do it or that you should do it. There's been recommendations by certain medical doctors that I've heard that do it every one week on, one week off. Okay. Um, I do lemon water as well in the morning, so I don't do both together. Can you do both together? I'm not sure. I, I don't, I'm not that, um, I don't get that technical on it. I just know that if I'm not doing lemon water, I'll take a week and do baking soda in the morning. I prefer to do lemon, lemon water though. Uh, there are a lot of benefits to baking soda and I suggest you watch some of my other videos or you do some research. So now one of my videos is titled baking soda causes cancer. And I did that because somebody said to me, oh, baking soda is not good for you. Baking soda causes cancer, causes seizures, it does whatever. You know, you have to take everything into context. So I'm gonna read an article on Livestrong, Lance Armstrong's website, okay? Um, I know Lance Armstrong is not, most, is not the most credible person these days, uh, but sometimes, most times, he's not the one writing on his website. He has a, an, an online uh, website that has a lot of uh, articles that are posted by other people that are written by other people. So it's not him actually writing the article. So here we go. Effects of drinking baking soda, it's called. Uh, January 13th, 2015. So it's about a year old right now. Uh, but the information is, is still very current or applicable. So if your grandma made you drink baking soda water for an upset, upset stomach, it tasted terrible, but it probably did the trick. Now I take baking soda if I have an upset stomach or I can't digest my food because wrong, wrong food combining. That's when I take it for acute symptoms. Uh, I, I don't do it often for that at all as I used to back a long, long time ago and I didn't eat quite as healthy. This well-known home remedy can help neutralize stomach acids and relieve ingestion. And I gotta tell you, it relieves ingestion instantly. Within 10 seconds, you feel so much better. Um, so, self-dosage. According to Arm & Hammer, manufacturers of baking soda, mixing a half a teaspoon of baking soda into a half a glass of water is a safe dosage, okay? People between the ages of five and 60 can take up to seven dosages, two hours apart for a 24 hour period. So that's a lot. They're saying from five to 60 years old. Um, seven doses space two hours apart for a 24 hour period, okay? So, if you were older than 60, take three doses in 24 hours. Uh, so that's, that's, that's Arm & Hammer's official stance on baking soda as far as consumption of it. Now here, be underneath this or in this article is baking soda toxicity. And here's where it goes and says that um, baking soda has been reported to cause, let's see what it says here. Uh, seizures, uh, what is the control center? seizures, abdominal pain, chest pain, muscle pain, and other serious conditions is what it's saying that baking soda causes. So this bake, this article is taking baking soda into both contexts. Now it, said, it quotes a study in here between 2000 and 2012, uh, the California Poison Control Center for Baking Soda, and it lists a study from 2013, Journal of Clinical Pharmacy and, Ther and uh, Therapeutics. So, it's, so this part of the article can easily have its own article in itself where somebody can take this out of context and say, baking soda is dangerous for you. And they can say, Marcus, what you're doing is dangerous. What you're saying is dangerous. What so-and-so is doing is dangerous. But what the part of this study that they're not reading is, <laughs> the dosages given to cause these side effects range from a quarter of a box to more than a full box of baking soda, okay? Now, Arm & Hammer's recommendations are far, far less than that, and I don't think anybody's really gonna take a half a box or a full box of baking soda, would they? Of course you wouldn't do something like that. So, 
It's just so easy to manipulate things and to say things and write headlines and say things are dangerous or things are healthy. It's like the story with the blind men and the elephant. If anybody's ever heard of that story, I forgot what the story is called. They're, they're from India or from somewhere in Asia. And these men all walk up to a horse. I'm talking, I'm sorry, not a horse. An elephant. They walk up to an elephant. They're all blind and they all start touching it. Well, one touches the body, the stomach, and he says, oh, a, an elephant is a wall. And the other person grabs its trunk and they said oh an elephant is snake like and the other person grabs its tail and says oh it's you know it's it's whatever like and the other person grabs an ear and they said oh it's a fan like and the other person grabs its its tusk and said this is spear like so when you're looking for something you can typically find it in a study in a medical study when you're looking for something you can typically easily find it because you're blind to everything else around you and you're focused in on one thing so if one person were to say Marcus baking soda causes cancer, it causes seizures, it causes this, you can easily find that medical literature out there to do that. And that's with everything out there. You can easily find that. But the part that they fail to mention most of the times is, oh, you need to do a box of baking soda as opposed to a half a teaspoon in a cup daily, you know, on a daily basis. So two totally different things, but yet they're saying partial truths. So that's just it. So that, that video that I did on baking soda causes cancer, a lot of people are up mad at me. They say, I'm not going to watch your channel anymore because you don't know what you're talking about and this and that. Um, I can't believe you're, you're saying bad things about baking soda because your other video is touting baking soda. Well, if they watch the video, if they took the time to watch the video, I talk about a lot of good, healthy dietary habits in there as well as proper consumption of baking soda. And that, that title's just from an article, or not from an article, but somebody who actually said, Marcus, baking soda is dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Well, yeah, it's dangerous if you take a whole box of baking soda. Nobody in their right mind would really do that. But I guess you kind of have to say that ahead of time. Uh, before because I guess anything's possible with people I guess there are people that are not that so smart so baking soda uh, effects of drinking baking soda and proper dosages I'm chef Marcus Giuliano thanks for watching if you like my videos please hit like subscribe to my channel and definitely pass it on